Well, I'm the man. I'm Hickok. James Butler Hickok. Though most folks call me Wild Bill. As there were no other challenges. That was the end of that lynching. And as I was walking over to the saloon to have me a taste, getting many slaps on my back from the more upright citizens who, by the way, had stayed inside, their noses pressed against windows until all was settled. And there was this girl in the crowd, and she yells out, Hey, Bill, ain't you a wild one? And it just stuck. People started calling me Wild Bill. I peeled both my smoke wagons, and I said to his friend standing there, Well, now we got one man dead, and I ain't fired but once. I got 11 pills left in these guns. So if any of you want to come here and see the doctor, you let me know. I'll cure all your earthly ills. But I had no comers. I would never kill a man over a watch. Dave Tutt assaulted my honor, and I will not have that, nor a man laying his hands upon me. Truth be known, Dave Tut and I had more trouble than that watch, that woman, that gambling debt. I believe one of us had to die. I'm not going to say why. And neither, I guess, is Dave Tut. <laughs> Talking to you, Phil. Now you know there's a law against weapons in my town, and yet I come out here and I see that Colt smoking in your hand. Well, just about that time, I believe, Phil Cole realized that he had his gun in his hand and mine was still slung in my holsters. I saw that thought light up his eyes, but before it could translate into an action, I filled my hands and I had at him. And right at that moment, Mike Williams, a special deputy that the novelty had hired to keep the riffraff away from the stage door, come around the corner, right in the way. He took both my balls right in the chest, dead before he hit the ground. Phil Cole, he was standing there trying to fathom his good fortune. So I put two in him. Oh, I could have blowed his head off. I could have done for him quick. But I gut shot him. Let him suffer. So here I was. In Nudlin Man's number 10 saloon. In Dakota Territory. August 2nd of 1876. I was about to sit down with my back to the door, something I hadn't done in a long time and never would do again. And I was 39 years old, and I had something most men think they want. Once they get it, many don't want it. And that's a reputation. And a reputation can kill you sure as a bullet. All right, Captain Massey. Deal me in. <laughs> 